Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just made huge announcement at G7 that will forever change America. On June 16, 2015, Donald Trump announced that he was going to seek the GOP nominee. In his speech, Mr. Trump said, "Sadly, the American dream is dead." But if I get elected president I will bring it back bigger and better and stronger than ever before. Now President Trump is doing just that. The G7 summit in Quebec, Canada has been an eventful one. The president has suggested that all tariffs, trade barriers, and industrialist subsidies should all be dropped in in order to facilitate free trade. This is a radical change to it an apparent reversal to his proposed tariff policy. This has raised some brows of many re-Trumplicans, but we still believe in the American dream and believe the president knows exactly what he's doing. From the get-go, the president has been playing chess while the rest of the world is playing checkers. When you're as successful as Donald Trump then you understand what it takes to win. America has never seen this much winning before. What the president has announced at the G7 summit will forever change the United States of America. Now globalists will be pushed back on their heels. Billionaire George Soros admitted that he was living in a bubble that nothing was going the way he thought it would. When someone like Soros admits they're losing, then you know something is going in our favor. President Trump didn't specify how the U.S.'s allies have responded to his proposals, but we can guess they weren't too happy about it. The president went straight for the jugular by calling out Canada, and France before, and during the summit claiming they've been ripping off America for far too long. Macron asked if the president even cared about the U.S. being isolated, and even suggests a summit without the U.S. president. This is a classic example of alpha males going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. At the end of the day, we all know who's going to win. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau had some words for the president as well. This time in a less alpha, more beta voice. Trudeau said he would with absolute certainty impose retaliatory measures on July 1 to answer Trump's tariffs on steel and aluminum. He said the argument that Trump's tariffs on steel and aluminum are a matter of national security are kind of insulting. Trudeau said Canadians are nice but added, we will not be pushed around. I will always protect Canadian workers and Canadian interests, Trudeau said. CNN President Donald Trump revealed his preference for totally free trade to promote economic growth, confirming reports that he brought up the proposal at the G7 summit with world leaders. That's the way it should be, no tariffs, no barriers, and no subsidies, Trump said, referring to his former college education. That's the way you learned at the Wharton School of Finance, I mean that would be the ultimate thing. Trump's proposal reflected an entirely free trade approach to economics, which he said the leaders discussed. He offered no significant updates on NAFTA negotiations, but suggested that perhaps the United States could negotiate unilateral deals with Canada and Mexico. Trump repeated that America's allies had repeatedly won on trade deals, hurting American workers and jobs. We're the piggy bank that everybody is robbing. Trump said. And that ends. Trump asked his economic adviser Larry Kudlow to comment on the discussions, who confirmed that the group of leaders had lengthy discussions about the proposal. I, myself, was particularly gratified to hear my president talk about free trade, Kudlow said, praising the president. The proposal comes following two days of testy back and forth comments on trade between the U.S. president and Washington's Canadian and European allies. In other words, let's say Canada, where, the United States pays tremendous tariffs on dairy as an example minus 270 percent, nobody knows that, we don't want to pay anything. Why should we pay? Ultimately that's what you want, you want a tariff-free, zone, you want no barriers, and you want no subsidies because you have some cases where countries are subsidizing industries and that's not fair. Business Insider Blaming past U.S. leaders for decades and decades of bad trade deals with the U.S.'s G7 allies, which have led to hundreds of billions of dollars in trade deficits, Trump stressed that those days are over and promised to continue his hard-edged approach on trade to straighten out outstanding issues. There is no reason we should have large trade deficits with virtually every country of the world, he said. Spitnik News There has never been a doubt in my mind that the president has always kept America first at the top of his priorities. No matter what deal he is negotiating, or what legislation he supported. The president has kept America his number one priority. The last administration would have never negotiated on behalf of America. Tax and spend were the only thing on the minds of liberals during the Obama era. America is seeing better days, and we owe it all to President Donald Trump. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.